What's up everybody? Welcome to Dice House for another Assassin's Creed 3 commentary. Uh, today we're going to bring you, uh, I'm bringing you a continuation of Sequence 2 here. It's about working on full synchronization for this next mission coming up here, I believe, which is called Infiltrating Southgate. Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him. So we gotta go get our final recruit here. Um, English guards are very pushy. Very, very pushy. <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry. The name of this one's called The Soldier. This is uh, infiltrating Southgate's next. State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How did you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. Uh, the uh, objectives for optional objectives for this um, mission here coming up here is I'm going to have to uh, limit our detection time to a cumulative total of 15 seconds. I shouldn't form a kill streak of three sequential deaths and prevent snitches from calling reinforcements. I'll get into that later. Were you planning to announce yourself, or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your arrival? You'll allow me to explain. <laughs> By all means, I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, them. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? Well, they'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. And as luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Okay, so uh, basically, like I said before, there's three things you need to do for to get full synchronization in this sequence here, um, especially on this part. And this is kind of tricky right here. Uh, the first one is not, you know, limit your detection to a total of 15 seconds, which is not that difficult to do. Uh, the second one, perform a kill streak of three, sequen three sequential deaths, um, which 
is not that hard to do. Uh, the third one, though, is the trickier one. It's uh, preventing the snitches from calling reinforcements. Um, in case you're wondering who the snitches are, it's basically you see these patrols walking around right here and everything like that. It's the drummers. The guys uh, beating away on their drums there, you know, while they're marching around. Those are the snitches. Those are the guys that are going to break off from the group, run off and get reinforcements. So you have to kill them first. Now with this group up here, there's two of them, okay? There's uh, two snitches in this uh, patrol right here that you're going to be uh, fighting here shortly. Um, now there's a way to do it, there's probably a better way to do it than what I'm about to show you. <laughs> but uh, if you're lucky and alright, um, Christopher Lee there, or I'm sorry, Charles Lee there will um, kill one of the snitches for you, alright? Then you just have to concentrate on getting the second one yourself. Um, it took me a few tries and all that to uh, actually get this, um, as you'll see, and I barely got it on this try, this, this try around. Oi! You thieves and scoundrels, one and all! Boy on you and your false war! <laughs> Okay, so you go after, uh, you have to go follow them down in this little courtyard area here. This little courtyard area here, um, once the snitches get outside that courtyard area, if you can't catch them um, before they get outside this courtyard area, then you're kind of screwed. Oh. Unhand him, Edward. You again. Let us go. And John Pitcairn with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. Right here, I decided to try and use the hidden blade on it. Um, do, uh... Try and get one of those jumping now. So you can see him right there too. They've got the solid red dot above their head. And there he goes, they're gonna run it. So I gotta hurry up and I gotta break off. Chase this guy down. Fortunately for me, I don't know if he, because he stopped that way that dog was at or what. But he did stop and I was able to get him right here. Um, kind of get my ass knocked around a little bit, trying to get him, but I do eventually uh, get him. Stuff. So that's both the stitches are down right there. Now I just have to get my uh, three sequential kills um, here. And the best way to do that is, you know, to do it by doing getting counter kills. All right. So you get your first counter right there. Um, actually, I'm trying to lead them back into this courtyard here, so we don't attract any more uh, patrols. And uh, plus, I wanted to switch out to my sword. I had mapped out. Um, which uh, weapons uh, were I were assigned to my D dad? Yeah, that's why I went with that. Like that, that's just holding R2. You see right here how easy it is to get your uh, kill streaks and everything going once you uh, get a good counter system going right there. Assume you've good reason for causing all this madness. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. And that's going to wrap it up for this video today, folks. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I hope it helped you out. Uh, if you liked the video, please do so by giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. There's more to come, I promise you. Until next time, you guys all take care. Bye.